What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. Welcome back to another video. I feel like what I haven't talked about in a while uh, specifically is Jasmine Coin. Um, especially after what has happened, what has transpired, it was kind of um, shocking in a way. And I was excited. The reason why I was excited is because I would love the opportunity to pick up more Jasmine Coin. I don't want to pick it up above one cent. So if it found a way to get, uh, we saw all these liquidations that happened and this came down to four, 40% of a penny, I would be guaranteed to buy another million. It's hands down. I would not let that go. I would not let that slide. I believe it's going to get up to a level of a dollar eventually, which means if I have 2 million, I now have a better chance of being a Jasmine coin millionaire because now I can take the 1 million and make these trades that I want to trade uh, throughout this process leave a million in there and then become a Jasmine coin millionaire. <clears throat> now, a ton of people had another opportunity and it's either that they took it or they didn't take it. Um, the entire market pulled back. We saw it go down to a $1.78 trillion market cap. Now back up to a $2 uh, trillion market cap. And Jasmine coin has since recovered a little bit, not fully, but has recovered a little bit. Now with that recovery brings a lot of people in the comments that are saying, dang, I should have bought Jasmine coin at a level of uh, 1.6 cents. I, I should have been involved in this. I should uh, I should have bought this. And it's always the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, but you, you never take that action. We see this time and time again, and I understand how scared people must be at seeing something fall. If you're seeing the entire market fall, it is completely different than seeing one individual position fall. If one individual position falls, then it's a completely different story and you have to look at it a different way to where you're like, oh, well, you know what? The market's booming. This isn't really making a move. It's kind of falling. It's moving in the opposite direction. What's the reasoning behind it? <clears throat> For the entire market, it's like it's hitting a low point. Buy the dip on everything you feel confident in. And that's exactly what I did, right? I, I bought, I didn't buy more of Jasmine coin because it's way above my cost basis. Um, but I bought more, um, you know, AVAX, more Cosmos, more Cardano, more, um, you know, just a, a lot of different things, right? Um, definitely bought Ethereum at a low price, but I saw an opportunity and I wanted to take that. With Jasmine coin, I hope that you had that chance to take that opportunity. Because while you saw that there were, chances to where or your chances where this was going to drop down however it didn't look like we would see anything we would see that 1.6 uh cent level ever again that's what i was thinking that we would not see that ever again and that the the boom would start to rise even the 200 ema was above that point so getting back to the 200 ema in a bull market um or getting below the 200 ema in a bull market just didn't make sense to me so there's so much upside and I decided to put in a leverage trade. I still have my other leverage trade uh, for Jasmine Coin at a 50x leverage at 1.5 cents that I was confident in, but anything could have happened. We could have seen that leverage trade continue or um, leverage train, the leverage liquidation train um, continue past that point. We could have seen that. Uh, but I was very confident in that price. And if it did get to a lower price, I would put through another uh, you know, larger trade. It was only like sixty dollars that i put in there which i already collected my initial investment anyways um so i was looking to kind of reinvest that into the lowest point possible to end up seeing the skyrocket however 1.6 was the level so before we get into the breakdown of where jasmine coin is and how much it did recover so far how much where my leverage trade looks at right now uh but Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, if you guys want to check out my Patreon, you want to check out my uh, Twitter account, feel free to check that out. Also, uh, Margex. If you want to start trading on Margex, I have a whole breakdown on, on Patreon for Margex, on the mental side of it, the physical side of it. You can also reach out to me on different tips and tricks on how to trade with Margex and how to get started. Uh, feel free to do that. But it honestly is a great platform. And, um, you know, I do, if you do sign up and everything, I wish you the best and make sure you guys take your, your time with learning it instead of just jumping in and throwing a thousand dollars in on one play. You may get lucky, but it's not something to where you actually developed a strategy. Anyways, if we look at uh, Jasmine coin right now, it currently stands at 21 or 2.1 cents from a level of 1.6 cents to 2.1 cents is absolutely phenomenal right now it is up 8.7 uh 8.75 uh percent on the day 
you're going to see my balance is still up to 21.4 million or 21.4 thousand dollars i still have 1 million uh coins and i didn't let go of any i'm not going to sell any i'm not afraid of any falls i understand what the crypto market is going to be so i'm not afraid uh, we are now above one billion dollars again and we're sitting at 218 million dollars in volume a 20 percent volume to market cap ratio continuing to show that popularity if we look at the last seven days and how far this has come down um on the fifth this dropped down to 1.6 cents and so many people in my comment section in my chats <clears throat> have said i wish i would have uh added more to my jasmine coin position instead i sold my jasmine coin position thinking that it was going to drop lower and I understand the fear, especially if you have a lot, like if you bought a million and own it outright, basically buying, you know, $20,000 worth of Jasmine, it feels horrible because you, you bought a million and it's continuing to drop and you want to just shave some, some losses, but then you shave those losses and now you're rebuying at a higher price point and it, it hurts. It does. Um, and the the overall comment was that I should have just dollar cost average down. I should have just bought more. And I want to ask, did you guys make that move? Did you guys buy more Jasmine coin at the level of uh, 1.6 cents? Did you leverage more Jasmine coin at 1.6 cents? What was your thing that you did? Or did you sit on your hands because you thought it was going to go lower? Uh, just be honest in the comment section. But uh, this honestly... I believe, right, and it, anything could happen. Again, we see these liquidation trains. Um, I believe that this is your last chance to get it at 1.6 cents. It was down to 1.4, then 1.6, and now came down to 1.6 again. And we are on the verge of seeing the true altcoin season happen. Whenever that does happen, you can kiss 1.6 cents, 2 cents, 3 cents, 4, 5 cents goodbye. And we're going to see a level of 10 cents and 20 cents and 30 and 40 and 50. And so many people are going to say the same thing that they're saying now. I wish I would have bought some at 1.6 cents when you were talking about it. Um, now, again, if you believe in it above this price point, it's still not a bad price to hold it here. It's just you're now investing at a much higher level than where we were in the past couple of days, knowing that. It, it has that ability to still come back a little bit if we see a negative day. Um, however, if we see more and more positive days, this goes from 2.1 cents to 2.3, 2.5, 2.7, uh, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5. It goes to all of these levels that now we can end up taking some of these profits. Um, Another, the one thing that I did do instead of buying Jasmine coin outright is I did leverage it because I wanted to get my... Uh, for my copy trading portfolio. Um, and you're gonna see here that I have it at 1.6 cents uh, at pretty much the lowest price. I, I leveraged 200 at a 5X leverage, which was trading $1,000. Um, and I'm now up uh, $329 on this play. Um, and obviously if this gets to a level where it gets back to maybe a three, uh, three cent level, um, that's gonna be 427%. Uh, percent which will you know jump me to about 800 800 plus dollars and i'll be happy with that 100 percent. i'll be happy with that a lot um and obviously i'll find the ability to take profit at certain levels i'll probably take my initial investment and go on from there because i have a lot to make up with these leverage trades because of what did happen with um you know liquidations and, and consistent liquidations and all of that there but i think i'll find a way to make it up it'll take some time but i will be able to do it um but yeah um that's where i stand with this jasmine coin investment i made one more at 1.6 uh cents um and uh, currently sitting at uh, 2.1 cents so i want to know if you guys ended up buying jasmine coin at 1.6 cents or 1.7 or whatever you got it at if you did let me know in the comment section. If you didn't and you regret not buying it, also let me know in the comment section. And you won't be shamed for not doing it. It's just always something when you say it out loud, you kind of learn from it. Because I have, I've done that so many times. Especially holding a position that I'm like, why is this falling? I did it with Facebook when it was Facebook before it was Meta. And I did it three times with them. And I was like, this is ridiculous. And if I would have just held on to it, one, I would have made money uh 
you know, through the growth, but also, um, you know, I feel as though I would have been a part of something a lot bigger, right? With the transition to meta and, and everything there. I don't know if they did a split, but no, they didn't do a split. But either way, it's still at a much higher price than where it was. And that was at like, I think $70. So, and then now I think it's at like $300 or $400. Correct me if I'm wrong. But guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Make sure you check out some of the links down below for Twitter, for Patreon, for Marjax. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.